before we finish up for the summer, we thought it would be helpful to give you an update on where we are with the path of renewal and some of the plans that we have for the autumn. We have a sense that the last few months have really been about putting the foundations in place for the work that will follow. It's not particularly glamorous work, but you know in anything that building the foundations is crucial. And we have a sense that over the last few months that is what we've been about and actually encouraged by the way that that work has gone on. And we hope that you have been too, even though some folk may have been saying, where are the signs of what's going on? Foundational work often happens quietly. Having done that work, we now reach holiday season and we said that July and August was time off in the path of renewal. So we hope that whatever you enjoy during holiday times, you will enjoy and that you will take time off during July and August. We want to honour what we said in that. In the autumn, uh, one of the key things clearly, as we understand, is going to be drawing together and starting work with your small group. And many of you have begun to work on that, thinking about who your small group will be, and that work will really begin to kick off in the autumn. We also think, though, that it's important to build support for that within your Kirk session, for them to know and to understand what is going on. So we plan to meet with them in the autumn, in September if that's possible, if not then as soon as possible after that. And so we would ask one thing before you go off on holiday and that is that you arrange for a Kirk session or a congregational meeting with your Path of Renewal mentor in the autumn. That could be a day, it could be an evening that you spend together, it might just be an hour of a Kirk session meeting that you have already organised. But please put that in the diary before you go off. We do, though, want to give you a sneak preview of what we want to share with the Kirk Sessions, what we will be sharing with them when we come out in the autumn. First of all, about how all of this ties in with the Church Without Walls vision. The vision of Church Without Walls was to see missional churches covering the length and breadth of Scotland and beyond. The path of renewal is a deliberate attempt to birth these, saying let's put some flesh in this, let's really make it happen. What we've also been saying, or the panel has been saying more recently, is that there are three essential elements in missional churches. Although it's hard to define what missional is, these three elements are seen in missional churches. First of all, they're engaged in their community and more widely. Secondly, there is authentic Christian community, a sharing together around Christian values and worship. Thirdly, missional churches make disciples, they nurture spiritual growth. And what we've been saying is that all three of these elements are important. It's a bit like a three-legged stool. All three parts are needed. You can't do without one or it all falls apart. And what we discerned early on was that the weakest of those was actually making disciples, nurturing spiritual growth, and it was that that we should focus on. But we haven't been particularly good at sharing that with others. And so we've developed over the last few weeks a tool which we will be able to use. We've called it the TripAdvisor tool, and you'll see why in a moment. And what we are suggesting is that in early September that you will work with a small group on this exercise in preparation for that autumn meeting. That doesn't need to be a big group, but a group who will take this exercise and take it on. What we will be asking that group to do is to map out what activities you do in each of these areas, in each of the three areas that are there. And then, in light of that, to give yourself a TripAdvisor score for each one. If things work out the way that we expect, then when you do that, the lowest score will be the one on the right hand side, the one about discipleship. We did this exercise with folk on pilot team on Saturday and that was what came out every congregation, this was their weakest area. And that allowed us to say that that therefore is the priority for development, making disciples, nurturing spiritual growth. And we hope that using this tool will help Kirk Sessions to own that and to see the priority that it is. We also hope that as they use that tool, they will be able to see what they're doing in these other areas and that we will be able to affirm that as positive. So we affirm the strengths that are there and work 
on the weakest. Making disciples, nurturing spiritual growth. One of the other things that we will share with them though is that this is something for all of us to do. It is something as a minister that we will expect you to model but others can be involved even from the very beginning. And so we'll be saying to them that we are inviting you as a minister to model your leadership on the ministry of Jesus. To invest as we've said on the three and the twelve in that small group at the centre in the way that Jesus did. To invest your time there. And we'll be saying to them that you need space to do that and they need to honour that and they need to help you to create that space. But we'll also be saying to your elders that they can be involved in this. That every elder can mentor at least one other person too and be involved in this. That they can all take someone under their wing, help them to grow in their faith journey. Now, we recognise not all of your elders are going to grasp this, but we hope that many will. And that actually what will happen from this is that you will move forward together. Some may be going a bit faster with you, but everybody needs to be going the same direction. And that sense of moving forward together is important. We want to garner that, to build that as we go forward. Finally, can I just say that we have put together some material for discipleship development. I know that a number of folk have been concerned about that. Please don't spend your summer uh, looking for leader for discipleship development material. We have available for you a series of New Horizon Bible studies entitled From Membership to Discipleship. Uh, actually, Robin Hill was the person who put that together. A number of folk contributed to that. We also have a series based on Mike Breen's material with a few lectures de Venus thrown in. We will make that available to you perhaps before the summer, certainly early autumn. And so that material will be there for you. We share that with you simply so that you can go and enjoy your summer. And we hope that you do. Go and relax. Take time off. And when we come back to pick up that journey together, we hope that you will be refreshed. We look forward to journeying with you in the autumn. We've been excited at the journey God has had us on so far. And we look forward to where he will take us in the months ahead.